Antelope Canyon is a place of magic and wonderment. The narrow walls and winding paths mesmerize the visitor as sunlight flickers through the cracks above and dances on the curvy walls. The smooth sandstone provides a canvas for the light to illuminate the vibrant palette of earth tone colors. This is a treasure of the desert. Unfortunately, to see this unique place requires a steep admission and a Navajo guide leading dozens through the cramped space. In this video, I'm going to share with you an alternative and free, well almost free, way to see Antelope Canyon. So continue watching as I show you my experience accessing this incredible natural wonder via Lake Powell. Hi, I'm Mike. And this is Mike's Road Trip. Get off the road! All right. Located in Page, Arizona, in the northern part of the state, situated within the Navajo Nation, Antelope Canyon can only be viewed by an authorized tour company. Most tours operate from either the upper or lower parts of the canyon. However, there is another option that many people don't know about, and that is accessing the Antelope Canyon via Lake Powell, then hiking up the slot on your own, which does not require an admission fee. However, you do need a boat, kayak, or paddleboard to reach the mouth of the canyon. If you have your own kayak or paddleboard, you can put in at Antelope Point. If not, you can rent your choice of watercraft at Antelope Marina. Depending on how hard you paddle, you should budget at least an hour paddling each way, plus an hour or two for hiking and exploring. So this is the mouth of the Antelope Canyon from Lake Powell. This is an area I have not ever explored, so I'm really looking forward to it. The only way you can get to it is by boat. After leaving the main channel and entering Antelope Canyon, it became quite calm and peaceful, with very few boats or paddlers. I visited in October of 2022, which was just past the peak season of summer. While it sure is nice staying next to the uh, cliffs with the shade, a little reprieve from the sun, I'm being very cautious because about four months ago, there was a huge amount of cliff that fell down into the water. And if you were kayaking, you would be toast or even boating. And even the after effects where the waves just funneled through this canyon were quite remarkable. Oh, I'm so glad I did this. This is fantastic. It looks like it keeps getting narrower and narrower. <laughs> this is an area I don't think boats can go past. It's just us kayakers. Good when it's gone. The right when it's all wrong. I guess I was wrong. Uh, you can't quite tell what's around each bend and it looked really narrow back there, but it actually is fairly wide. Well, my first goal has been achieved. I made it to the uh, end of the water and now I am hiking through the canyon. It's strange, it smells a little sulfuric here. Um, not very pleasant. And there's so much debris the last, I don't know, couple hundred yards of paddling. I guess everything just kind of really settles in that area. But man, what a great day. Great day of paddling and now I'm going on a bit of a hike. Wow, this is absolutely gorgeous. Well, it's interesting that where I'm walking right now, if the lake were at its normal level, this would all be underwater and you could still kayak through here. But it's about 50 feet below normal right now. When I arrived at the uh, end of the road, if you will, where the water stops, there was a tour that was just finishing up. So 
I'm pretty grateful to pretty much have this canyon all to myself right now. So I've made it to the part where Antelope Canyon turns into a slot canyon and it is really starting to get remarkable. problem with a place like this is you keep wanting to see what's around the next bend. <laughs> After a bit of exploring, I began my paddling journey back to the marina. Well, the only, I would say, unenjoyable part of this trip is kayaking through this channel. It is just, it's not fun. It's very wavy, and especially when boats go by, but it is what it is, as they say. <laughs> Along the way, there are a few little beaches to stop and relax. Nice little beach to stretch out a little bit. This is Antelope Marina, where you can rent a boat, kayak, or paddleboard. If you enjoyed this video, please hit that like button and don't forget to subscribe for more road trip travel videos. Well, that's it from Antelope Canyon. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, we'll see you on the road.